Hello and welcome to Undervisee. My name is Soham and in this video we are going to talk about the finale of MCU's WandaVision. This is really interesting and we need to talk about this. But before that if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel since I do weekly pop culture related stuff. With that being said, let's begin the video and a spoiler warning in advance for all the people who have not watched the episode so far. Now this episode had some subversion of expectations, some disappointments, but overall this was a very nice episode in my opinion and it served as a pretty good finale. To be honest, it was not as big of a cry fest as I was expecting, but overall this was well executed and this was well handled. Unfortunately, there were no major cameos here. People were expecting a lot of different cameos from Reed Richards to Nightmare to Mephisto and even Doctor Strange himself, but unfortunately that is not exactly the case here. But still even then there are some pretty interesting things that are happening here. So the episode begins by continuing the fight that takes place between Wanda Maximoff and Agatha Harkness and there are some more explanations that are given here as to what exactly is going on here, how she is a scarlet witch, how her name has been mentioned in the dark hold and yes, that book was indeed the dark hold and how chapters have been dedicated to her. Wanda tries to fight back and save her kids, but in the meantime the character of Agatha Harkness is able to absorb all the energy, all the powers that she has been throwing at her. This scene once again reminded me of the character called Michael Morningstar from the Ben 10 franchise, but this was really handled well. The special effects and the graphics here were pretty good. But moving forward, White Vision finally appears. It is not shown to us how exactly he gained access inside the hex, but I think it is because he is being powered by Wanda's magic himself. So that's why he was able to gain access directly inside the hex. But White Vision comes and his directive, his objective here is to eliminate Wanda Maximoff and he directly goes for the kill. At least he tries for it, but he is stopped halfway by none other than Vision. And then the fight escalates basically and then we have a two way fight between Vision and White Vision and this was most likely the cameo, the secret cameo that Paul Bettany had been hyping up for such a long time. This was a classic joke and overall it was pretty well handled. In the meantime, Wanda goes to the central square of Westview and there because of Agatha Harkness magic, she learns the true identity of all the people and all the people of Westview are freed from the mind control. This was a very well handled scene because they're seeking for their freedom here and they're even asking Wanda to kill them if she's not able to free them because they are no longer able to take all of these things in. They are having her nightmares and they are experiencing her pain through the magic of the hex. There are a lot more shenanigans at play here and Wanda slowly learns more about her true self here because of the dark hold and everything but eventually she decides that no this is enough she needs to free these people and she temporarily releases the hex so that all the trapped people can go out of here but in the meantime Agatha Harkness makes her realize that her actual family is tied to the hex and if she tries to take down the hex then her kids and vision will be permanently gone so this is a very big dilemma for the scarlet witch and while she opened the borders Hayward and his goons try to enter inside the hex and he's kind of the central villain of the entire thing. He's so delusioned by everything that he's not able to understand what is right from wrong and that is aptly on display here. Prior to all of this, he also has a standoff against Jimmy Woo who takes a stand against him and tries to call for backup. Once again, I'm really liking the character of Jimmy Woo and I'm pretty sure that he will be expanded way beyond just this series. I'm excited to see more of him in the future of the MCU. But in the meantime, Wanda tries to use her mind warping magic that she used in Age of Ultron against Tony Stark and here once again that is happily on display here. In the beginning, yes, it seems like she is having the upper hand here because she has taken Agatha Harkness back to the 1600s where she had her witch's trial and all the other dried up witches rise up but it is then revealed that it was Agatha Harkness all along and she is playing mind games with her and all the other witches accuse Wanda that she is the Scarlet Witch, she is the bringer of demolition, she is the one who destroys everything. Basically, the Scarlet Witch is a huge force of destruction and that is aptly on display here. Moreover, the main motivation behind Agatha Harkness is revealed here. She basically wants to try to steal all the powers of Wanda Maximoff. Now, it's not explicitly clear here if she herself wants to become the Scarlet Witch or not, but here it is clear for a fact that she wants to take away all her powers. But Wanda brings her back to the reality of the Hex, and here the fight finally starts between them, and it is very interesting in my opinion. At first, it seems like Agatha Harkness is taking the upper hand here and she's absorbing all the magic that Wanda is throwing at her and she is slowly shrinking. Her body is slowly shrinking up because of the lack of magic, but it was a ruse all along because after all of this, Wanda was successful in trying to cast her own rune inside the hex and as a result of it, Agatha Harkness is no longer to use her magic as a whole. And finally, the moment is here, the moment that we all waited for because Scarlet Witch is finally revealed in a full attire and Wanda just one-shots Agatha Harkness. 
and for her punishment she transforms Agatha Harkness into the nosy neighbor that she was and that is the end for her at least for now but on the other hand the fight between vision and white vision took a very dramatic turn because vision asks white vision what is your motivation what is your objective here and he says that my motive is to take down vision but then there is a very philosophical debate that happens between them which involves the ship of theseus i was kind of expecting that this joke this particular thing will be brought up in the series and lo and behold that is actually brought up here as to who exactly is the real vision here is it the white vision or wanda's version of vision and there's a very interesting take here and hex vision finally unlocks the true memories of white vision that was stored away inside his carbon life form and all of these interactions basically denote to the fact that yes vision is not done for the entirety he is eventually going to come in the future of the series that is for sure but once again back at the central square hayward finally takes a charge and he tries to shoot the kids of wanda but he stopped by none other than monica but even the powers of the kids are on display here and this was a really good scene and in the end darcy just bams into his truck and that was the end of hayward he is finally being taken down and that is the end of the things and towards the very end of the finale wanda finally switches off the hex and as a result of this both hex vision and her kids are taken down and all the things go back to the reality and that's the end of it and wanda finally leaves fest view But there are two post-credit scenes here. Of course, MCU will be incomplete without post-credit scenes. The first is in relation to Monica Rambeau and the Skrulls. Yes, there's a Skrull here who basically wants to take her back to the space. It is obviously in relation to Captain Marvel 2, so that's a pretty good setup even though it's not kind of expecting it. And the second one is in relation to Wanda, who is currently living in an abandoned hut inside the mountains, and she has kept a regular version of herself in the front. while at the back the full scarlet witch is taking a look at the dark hole but in the meantime she is able to hear the voices of her kids basically kind of denoting towards mephisto storyline or something more than that all of this is very interesting in my opinion and this was the end of the finale of wonder vision overall this was a very interesting series a very good experiment done by the mcu and for any fans of the franchise this is a must watch series Moreover this ending is obviously directly linked towards Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness as well. My only kind of disappointment here was in regards to the character of Quicksilver because it is revealed that no he is not Quicksilver he is actually Ralph Boner someone who is being controlled by none other than Agatha Harkness. I was hoping that we will get more information about all of that but that was kind of omitted here. But anyway this is it for this quick update video in regards to the finale and ending explained of the series. What do you guys think about all of this? Please mention your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more. This is Wonder YZ and I'll see you soon in the next video.